Hey guys, what's going on? So today I want to go over with you a 500 rep, four move, push, pull, body weight routine that I did. And normally my routines, I'll set a timer for 20 to 30 minutes. I'll go around and around and just try and get as many sets and reps as I can. Uh, in this case, I didn't do that. I left the clock out of it. I just kind of went at my own pace. And uh, again, it was a total of four moves. I'll go over each one of the four moves with you. Then at the end, we'll put the rep and set scheme together and I'll tell you exactly what I did and how I did it. First though, I wanted to give a big shout out and a big thank you to a young lady from Spain uh, by the name of Gloria. Gloria has a YouTube channel, it's called My Fitness Journey, and I'm gonna leave a link to her channel down in the description. And the other day, Gloria posted uh, a workout video that she did, which I believe she based on a routine that I posted several weeks back. She did a great job with it. it looks like she's working really hard. So guys, there's no excuses. We got some inspiration from the ladies now. So get out there and get your reps in, no more excuses. And Gloria, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job, keep working hard, and thanks again for your support. So move number one, as you can see here, was just straight pull-ups, and I'm using the assist band. The quarter inch, it's the lightest band. And, and again, I wasn't looking so much for the assist. Uh, really, it's kind of like using training wheels. It just kind of keeps, I, I like to keep my form as clean as I can. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing pulls, I get a little wonky, my legs will separate, and this just kind of reminds me to keep my legs together and just kind of keep my form in check. So right after the pull, I jumped right next door and I, and I did some decline push-ups, and I used the gymnastics rings for my feet rather than doing, you know, rather than having them on a stable surface. Uh, doing it this way obviously adds to the, we have that stabilization factor, have to keep the feet together, we have to keep the legs from moving side to side, and have to really keep, con uh, really have to concentrate on keeping that core tight. So I did those two as a superset, and then I jumped over, and I did the next two moves also as a superset. And the first one here was the body weight bicep curl on a straight bar. And I really love doing the, this move. Um, I really feel like it hits the biceps well. Probably more so a lot of times than when I'm doing dumbbell work. But um, I like to incorporate these as often as I can. And I really do feel them when I, when I do them. And then right after the bicep curl, I jumped right next door and I did some body weight tricep extensions. And again, this is another great move. I really feel this in the triceps. Totally different feel than doing, say, you know, parallel bar dips or even a bench dip. I really feel that with both of these moves, I get a total, complete arm pump. And I think they're both really effective moves. So that's it. That's the four moves. And to put them all together with the pull-ups, I did 10 reps. And then I went into 15 reps on the push-ups. And that was for 10 rounds. So that gave me 100 pulls, 150 pushes, total of 250 reps. And on the second superset, I did each move, the bicep and the tricep. I did them each uh, 12 times for 10 rounds. So that's 120 and 120, a total of 240 combined, 490. And just to round out the 500, I did 10 push-ups uh, for a total of 500 reps. So with my 10 minute warm up, which consisted of a combination of running in place, jumping jacks, uh, shoulder rolls and arm circles, that was about 10 minutes. I came in at about, for the total routine, about 50 minutes all combined. So that was that one guys, that was a, what I thought was a good upper body routine. Give it a try if you would. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you get your reps in and I'm gonna catch everybody in the next one, thanks.